Hi, I'm Dr R.M. Francis and I'm one of the lecturers in creative and professional writing at the University of Wolverhampton and currently the poet in residence for the Black Country Geological Society. And over the last year or so, I've been tasked with uh, producing work that's inspired by and set in the Black Country Geopark, which is now part of the UNESCO Global Geopark project. Right behind me, you can see Wren's Nest Housing Estate and where we are right now is part of the Wren's Nest Nature Reserve. And we've chosen this site today to start this film because it's a quintessentially black country space, the flagship of the black country geopark. It's where the domestic sphere, the estate behind me, connects with the natural realm in the nature reserve where flora and fauna and protected species are homed. It's also a site where industrial relics of the past are always present in their haunting ways. Just up the way is the Seven Sisters caves and the Seven Sisters mine shafts. But it's also home to the geological past as well, and in particular the Silurian past. The rocks that are right underneath our feet and right behind me are 428 million years old and formed part of the Silurian seabed. So here we are in a space where there are layers and layers of past, layers and layers of culture, layers and layers of signs and symbols of black countryness. Through filth. Attend, descend with me mucker, down below grounds of Pagnell's Priory. Here rides the Rizome echo of Cluniac monks and their prayer, enkindled, inflamed, like our own smithies, scorched core to gem, sand to glass, dust to daggers, smelt by quicksilver fingers, a nail making kins full of ken for our caverns, these caverns. Descend with me, mucker. Descend down below Renner roots and lime, where the cut chain links Nidhog, Yggdrasil, to corner shop, call centre, from chain coral helixing revelations to brackets, a battle ghost ship, colony, empires of Iverin and Overin here, sending out canting wisps of caggy-headed scrappies older than god time. Attend. Moist ore moves in slow spit-splitting fermi, firm as fossil, cold as core. The Rea Svedberg of scuttles in here, just patient sediments, with the brood a halcyte, silica shale, tracks a tabulite ordering roots for proto beings and proto action. Down here, whim the stone and slick sand fertilizers for stealer, glass mecca, almost teen lad with armor, with chisel, with lens to spy crinoid ruins, insect set in geo nest, attend. He rests the Dudley Bug, Moloch. It's our slow burn municipal crest. Electra protects brave chests in protean soils and lets us swarm in Stercore in Veneta. We're now in Rowley Hills near Tiverdale and Albury, right in the heart of the Black Country. And right behind me is a Dolorite intrusion from the Carboniferous era. Known locally as Rowley Rag, this stone was made and pulled out of the earth to build roads and curb stones. And it's in these places in the Black Country Geopark that you can sense and touch and feel close to the deep time of the region, close to the geological and stratigraphic layers of the region. And this is where we bring in geopoetics because so much of geopoetics is about touching and feeling and sensing our own locales and our contact and connectedness with the earth. The great geopoet and Scottish writer Kenneth White said that once we're outside we gain a topological presence and that this sort of poetics and movement within our locations and the natural realms and green spaces brings us out into the enormous, this awe-stricken reverie of the enormous. 
The Canadian poet Don Mackay called it a crossing point between poetry and its ephemeral, loose-limbedness and the sciences and hard facts and empiricism. Another writer, Francis Ponge, said that the geo-poet delves down into the layers of the land and in doing so we sink right down into the Logos and what he called the night of the Logos until finally we find ourselves at root level and it's here at root level where things and formulations merge. So we need to get out, get in touch with the land, get in touch with our geological heritage to feel that topological presence and feel awestruck in our mutual interconnectedness and be aware of humanity's toddlerdom on the planet. And the view that I can see from Rowley Hills puts me right in touch with that. Exfoliation, ridged, she raised wedding ring down Rowley Macrogabro, rock like rhino pelt, brittle as bird egg. Days counted with maps, hours in ups and downs, minutes on meters, seconds, surveys, each calculated in back fourths. Stillness still sleeps in this pattern. Take the rock sealed ammonite unearthed that long afternoon when sun scorched shoulders haunched over on blue rock. Our Tony Bloomambachi. We plot it in our collection, date, time, sight, stamped. Memory stores, stirs it. It's the soft float of wan stars and stripes rooted to the moon never still in its chartered zone. Turned, she slips Samson's slope back to Oakham Estates. Rocks in pockets crumble, reveal miniature contours, pale rims around untouched fingers. We're now in the Bumble Hole in Netherton. And Andy Harrison, who's the field secretary for the Black Country Geological Society, said, in the black country, it's the people that made the place and the place that made the people. And I think Netherton and the Bumble Hole is a really nice example of that. Here we've got the relics of industry like Cobb's Engine House right here and the Netherton Tunnel, which comes directly out of the geological grounds, the fire clay, the coal that was so ripe in this region. But it's also a place where the industry shaped the landscape itself and it's another really interesting example of the way the domestic sphere, the natural sphere, the industrial sphere and the geological realms all interconnect. The ground here is like a geologist's pick and mix. And you can think of me and the other people that work in areas like this as a geo magpie picking at the coal seam, the fire clay, the strange mix of traces and patterns left behind for eons and generations from the spoil heaps and the beautiful collaborations between human and landscape. Rupture, rapture. Rowley raggers slogged oxidized slag from Bosch boil stew, turn the earth inside out plucking mafic hailstones in a bumhull, bumhull, bumhull beat. Bumblehole subsides with wild warrens release. Hingley's lost to rush rushings and reed mace. This is the new proving house since coots cooped Cobb's ruin. Searching hellish dikes and sills here where rocks glowed to surface. You cast shiny oudral frines into reddened waters. Pray the mirroring stays under. 